when I first met Kuntal, he was a great software engineer, and he was part of our team based in Mumbai. He was um, not unlike a lot of engineers, uh, a little bit heavier set, um, not so much a physical sports kind of guy. He shared with me back then this idea that he had that someday he wanted to climb Everest. And I was kind of like, yeah, okay, that's great. Someday I want to uh, you know, go to the moon, but you know. My reaction was probably, okay, let's see if this is what you're still planning to do in a few weeks. <laughs> you know, I was like stumped. I'm like, okay, go, go climb your Everest. What else to say? Kuntal is doing something which we might never even think of doing. We might want to do that, but never have the courage to do that. We all have settled into standard boring lives. That does not mean I'm not happy with my wife <laughs> and my children. <laughs> so we are all here to be with Kuntal. Reminiscent when I was naive about the game. Was it money or was it fame? I was trying to gain. It was both from the coast around this time of game. Had a post, Pyros and Lokes, they was trying to bang. I was neither. We gone, we gone, we gone. We gone, we gone, we gone. We gone, we gone, we gone. We gone, we gone. And one of the things I feel that happens when someone comes to the States is that there is a complete acceptance of any kind of person and this kind of acceptance was not something that I ever experienced in India. Wow, so you're climbing Mount Everest, huh? When are you doing that? I think this sort of started shaping my thinking of, you know, finding passions and, you know, pursuing those passions. You know, I have a very open mind and that is something that United States has also taught me. If you are going to have that closed mind, then you are going to be that person who's always going to live in that well. And I'm not someone who likes living in a well. I would rather live in an ocean. A scale of 1 to 10, how good is he? How good is Kintal? Minus 1. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping his climbing skills are much better than his cricket skills. What? <laughs> he had a crush on a girl. The point was he might have had a crush, but we encouraged him to go further and go further. And that's where Kuntal is. He listens to all his friends and that creates entertainment for us. Not the first time it has happened. There was one of the local chaps over here who just told Kuntal, you know, go and give something to that crush of yours. He asked that guy to go and gift her a banana. That guy went to his house, knocked the door, and guess what? She was not at home. Her father opened the door, and rest is history. We couldn't stop laughing, you know, gifting a banana <laughs> to a girl's father. <laughs> do not do that. That was so funny. His wife does not know that story. He would do whatever we ask him to do. Like, want to play cricket? Let's go and play cricket. Want to see a movie? Go and see a movie. He didn't have any, I would say, opinions that he wants to do exactly this particular thing. I used to just, you know, pretty much just be a follower. You know, I would see that, hey, my, you know, five of my best friends are, you know, going to the US. And so I thought, you know, hey, I also should be going to the US. So, you know, that is one of the reasons I said, you know, hey, let's go to USC. Lucas, Robert Zemeckis, Steven Spielberg, probably one of the best film schools in the world. So the first day I landed in USC and I took a shuttle. The shuttle guy dropped me at a completely different gate. The place where I was supposed to go to was a couple of miles away from here. Now arriving, USC station. Exit here for the California side. You know, it hit me that this is huge. This university is like a city of its own. I mean, this is different. This experience is just going to be, it's going to be life-changing experience for me. So we're now going to buy some for meat, which is, you know, good protein for the mountain. 
and it does not have the bad things that meat has. Like it's a Vega Sports protein bar. So this is what I'm going to be eating on the mountain and probably even on the summit of Mount Everest. It's super delicious, seriously. On one of the trips to the grocery store, I was buying an ice cream. One of my roommates, he said that, hey, did you read the ingredients of the ice cream? It had eggs in them. I told him, yeah, you know, what's the big deal? I have always had chocolates in my entire life which have had eggs in them. So he said, but you know, we are vegetarians, we don't eat eggs. If it's directly or if it's indirectly, how does that make a difference? Oh man, this looks good. That's mock meat. Oh wow. He started, uh, you know, sharing with me a lot of horrors, you know, that happen in the dairy industry or in the egg industry or, you know, in all of these industries. I mean, I cannot be ignoring that and just drinking milk just because I like it. That's, you know, not how it works. So Kuntal, what, what dish did you bring? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> he used to love eating. That is the most striking memory I have of Kuntal since uh, from college time. A few years after college, I, I heard that he's is turning vegan. And I was like, that can't be true. That really can't be right. He came back from USA, LA, all, how, how would I say, all evolved and all with veganism and all. I bet on him that he wouldn't last six months. It's been six years now, so kudos to him. I tried my best to convert him to normalcy, but didn't work. What's your heart rate out right now? 82. No, I went up and came down. You should make sure your toes are pressing in the ground and your back is arched and you're feeling it in your lower thighs because that'll keep... Kuntal's transformed physically quite a bit, right? He wasn't somebody who took care of his health to where he is almost religious about what he puts into his body and how he takes care of it. Part of it is because of the US, particularly so living in LA and being around the people that he was around. I don't think he would have been like that if he had lived in India. Over the course of several years, he was leaner and just healthier um, and be had become very focused on he was gonna climb Everest. I didn't even question whether or not it was gonna happen. It was just a matter of when. Finally, I had a conversation with him about a year and a half ago and he said, hey, I'm ready to climb. And we were just talking as friends and he was looking to try to get sponsors together. I know he didn't come to me thinking that I was going to sponsor him, but you know, the idea popped into my head at that point. And Mel, <coughs> some of these shoes. Right there. Yes, cool. And what happens is gators. Right, right there. Cap on. Right there. Hey, look at that. We got everything. Oh, wait. Nikon. <laughs> Where's the Nikon? Yes. It's like Christmas. <laughs> One of the women on our marketing team, Ryan Thompson, came up with this idea of fuel, which was fearless, unique, exemplary leaders. When she came up with that and, and kind of pitched it to us, I said, that's it, that's, you're, you're on it. So it was now just about Kuntal's mission. Kuntal inspired this whole concept that we would be able to sponsor individuals who have dreams. Man, this is a lot of gear. Can we have the Sherpas come help us now? <laughs> the first three to four years of my vegan journey was a very militant journey. Every opportunity I got to debate a non-vegan, I did not lose that opportunity. Veganism was actually becoming my life and veganism had started consuming me. It was affecting my relationships. It was affecting, you know, how I was, you know, seeing a lot of the, a lot of the world. This is all down. So this is, these pieces are non-vegan gear in my, equipment <laughs> because there's no synthetic versions of any of these items like I tried really hard to yeah. find some just go more important that you're warm so that you stay safe if I stay safe then I will live another day to fight for animals sure. it's okay I guess smile instead of going and being in everyone's face all the time and saying don't kill animals and actually none of that working, why not do it in a different way? If I can maintain a great diet, and if I can do great things, and if I can inspire other people to go vegan, that would probably be a much better approach to the whole problem. I'm tired, but I'm not, ex I'm very excited. Lots and lots of adrenaline rush. I am tired. Top of the world! Woo!
he told me the dad's condition he told that after marriage you have to sacrifice lots of things uh, you have to sacrifice our personal life also you have to sacrifice your social life also i was just fighting with him kundal you see only your side that you like trekking you go but what is my life or what about me so where we should go we should go to everest base camp yeah. <laughs> makes for a good romantic date